and we're going. Heidi ho, Wasting Money One. Welcome to Wasting Money One's first Q and A sesh. Guess what? We're depressed. Hold on, let me start Dennis's <laughs> camera up right here. Do you oh. want to explain why we're depressed? <clears throat> well, I will say I am on the ground because this is take two of this. The first take was. An hour, an long. hour, yeah, an hour it was long. An hour. It was an hour, and once we finished, we were we were so happy about it. We're like, wow, that went great, went great. We went to stop the recording, and the recording didn't save. The it audio recording, error. the audio recording I used Fruity Loops to record the audio said out of memory, but uh, uh, the videos were fine, but they didn't pick up the audio very well. So, and that was only half the question. So we're gonna do this again. We are so frustrated. We're, we're really <laughs> tired, and see this bottle of wine. Almost gone, and, and I, it was I it was like a, it was at this level to begin with, um, and so I'm a little tipsy and I'm I'm really really tired. I'm kind of uh, de- I'm even more depressed because alcohol is a depressant after all. I'm gonna continue drinking, uh, but we're gonna do this all over for, uh, uh, again for you. We're gonna do this again for you. Um, we're not gonna go through all the questions. We are saving. Uh, the last half for Wasting Money 2, and you could even leave more questions in this comment box for Wasting Money 2. But uh, we're going to go through uh, half of them right now. And if you just want to go to your question, if you go to the, the description box below, just find your username, and there'll, there'll be a time right next to it. Just go to that time, and uh, you can just hear your uh, 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 your question and uh, the answer to your question. So let's just jump into it. And real quick, we apologize <clears throat> for the webcam that's on, John, because it is bad quality. Bad quality, but uh, as you see, as you can see, for Dennis, it is good quality. Oh, hold on. Oh, what? You should be a little bit lower. I'm a lower. Or, let me just go farther away. I, I can crouch. Is that better? There we go. Beautiful. Crouch All, right. Right. All right. Here we go, folks. So we're going to do this in 10-minute intervals because last time we recorded an hour, it was too long. So we're going to do this 10 minutes at a time. So the first question is from Yo91000. And his question is, what is your favorite Blu-ray? And have you ever seen the flick pick? He is a great YouTuber. Dennis, let's, uh, let's go, let's go uh, you first. Uh, I picked Oblivion because overall the story and the visuals are just amazing. The visuals weren't even really enhanced. Like a lot of the shots that they did were uh, from volcano tops. Like they did like the sun setting and it just had that red glow to it. And so yeah, a lot of the visuals were amazing in that. And <clears> the <throat> second time I watched it, the story actually made more sense. So I picked o- Oblivion and I have seen. Uh, for flick pick. So, yes. And you like the flick pick? I am very, very jealous. I wish I was that good. <laughs> Alrighty. So, okay, for me, uh, my favorite, my favorite Blu-ray is uh, the Coraline gift set that I got for three dollars. It is a fantastic big gift set. Uh, go back in in, in in one of our past videos to see that. And the flick pick. I hate him. I hate him. Why is that? Why is that? Well, the thing is, he is a very good-looking male, uh, alpha male, good face. He works out. He's got a nice body. He's got a fun personality, and he's very, very smart, and he knows a lot about movies. And no one on this planet should have all that. No one should be talented, smart, and good-looking. I can't, I can't finish any one of his videos because I, I'm just, I just get way too jealous. So there you go. That, that's flick pick. But I love him. I, I hate him so much because I love him. Next question is from William Johnstone. Nice video, guys. And for the Q&A, if you can go back in time and put yourself in any movie you wanted, what movie would it be? Dun dun. Uh, I actually had two for this. Uh, one was Tron Legacy because the visuals has just futuristic furniture in that one house and... The vehicles they have, I think that'd be awesome to live. And the other one, as silly as it sounds, would be Batman and Robin. I I love the colors for it and just the silliness humor in it. So I think that would be an awesome movie to be in. (laughs) I've heard that answer before. Yeah, yeah, because we went through this all over again. (laughs) Oh, man, I'm so drained. Okay, sorry. (laughs) Okay, and and for me... um, I would say The Great Escape. 
it's it's kind of a weird answer, but when I watch it as a kid, I always daydreamed about being with those guys at that camp and going through those tunnels, digging those tunnels. The tunnels always looked so fun to me. Um, it, it's kind of a weird answer, but that's, yeah, I've always wanted to be in that movie. Next questions. Uh, before we go, is oh. my camera still okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just, yeah, yeah. just want to make sure. Alrighty. Um, okay. So the next questions are from the last Samurai and Daniel's 30 and a whole bunch of people in past videos. And they've basically just asked about general like relationship questions. Who was that girl? And is she going out with someone? Blah, 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 blah. There hasn't been too many girls in our videos, but there's, there's been, there's been a handful. And here's the answer. You ain't getting an answer. You ain't getting one because uh, it's one of those things where relationships, especially at our age, are so on and off. And this, you know, that girl may be a girlfriend to so and so right now, but next week maybe not. There might be another girl, and we don't want to have to explain that to you, uh, uh, people. And especially if you know, like, if someone is in an on and off relationship, we don't want to have to explain that to you. And, and it's unnecessary. This video is a vlog, yes, but with an emphasis, with an emphasis, emphasis. That's the wine. Uh, stuttering and mumbling with an emphasis on movies and so we don't need to get too personal I don't think so haha ha, you'll never know um, next question is from Philly C I think the first time we, we did this it was a little bit better yes sorry well yeah. whatever <clears throat> Philly C <clears throat> are you guys gay <laughs> yes we are <laughs> yes we are uh, we're, we're finally going to put those rumor. We won't get too personal, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll, yes, we are. No, we'll, we'll say that. We're not. John just wishes. Just ignore him. Just kidding. Okay. So would you guys ever buy a 3D TV and start buying 3D Blu-rays? Dennis. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I actually have a couple of 3D Blu-rays. I mean, even though I don't have the TV, I can bring it over to like Ryan's house because he has this 3D projector and all that. But Bloody duh. Yeah. But, I mean, 3D TVs are st still too expensive, and plus the glass is on top of it. It's it's too high for what I make. So, at the moment, no. But I still will get the TVs just in case it does go down. So. Alrighty, and I, I, I would definitely upgrade to that as well if, if I ever found, uh, found a good deal, blah, blah, blah. And I have a few 3D Blu-rays, so obviously, Black, yeah, yeah. Black Friday. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> next question is from the review guy ninety five. Great video. Have you seen Breaking Bad? And what is your guys' favorite band? And also, Angel Dunbar asks what our favorite musical artists are as well. Then, then, Dennis. I have not <laughs> seen Breaking Bad. Um, Heathen. I well, no. The reason behind that is because uh, TV shows. I'm really into TV shows, but my biggest problem is once I watch it, I need to watch it again. Just half an hour or an hour isn't enough for me. I want to keep going. I want like a movie, but I've heard so many good things about it. I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait till it's over or until it gets so deep. But there's so many TV shows I've wanted to watch and I have been watching. But now that it's over, I'm, of course, going to watch it. And my favorite band is The Fray. Heathen. And I've made it to the end of season three of Breaking Bad. And the reason I only made it to the end of season three was because BitTorrent did not have season four for an iPod. I didn't say that. Um, <clears throat> and what is my favorite band? Uh, it's a band that I grew up with and I have not grown out of called DC Talk. Next question is from Kevin Van De Kirka of Hello, Blu-ray buddies. What is your favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movie? That's the first question. Den den. Oh, we're doing it in bits? Yeah. Uh, what did I write down for that? Uh... Second in Command. I can't recall all of his movies, but that one just comes to mind. Uh, from what I recall, I liked it. So that's what I had to put down. Good for you. I've never seen one of his movies, but I have seen the Volvo commercial, and that was fantastic. What is our favorite fast food in the world? Can we just say this in unison? Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. What program on your computer do you use to edit your videos? Can we say this in unison? Sony, Sony Vegas, Vegas 12. Pro 12. Well, you forgot oh, pro, so Dennis, you know. how dare you screw. It makes us look like a pro. Come on. We got to okay. say pro. <laughs> Next question is from Stardust. Oh, I'm sorry. Night Stardust. Number one. 
What movie were you expecting to be terrified of, but it was a letdown? Den Den, what is your answer? Is oh, this oh you know what? Hold uh, on. Cause, yeah, read yeah, the sorry. whole thing because <laughs> for me it was kind of confusing. Yeah, okay. The second, <laughs> the first time was better. Uh, the second question <laughs> is what movie, the second question is what movie were you expecting to be fine with, but it did scare you? Okay, so mine was kind of a little bit of both because for mine, I picked uh, Sinister because for me, a lot of the moments were like a gotcha kind of moment where like the cat pops out and scares you and you're like, oh, but watch it the second time. It's not that scary. So I've had movies where it's actually scary and you watch it a second time, you kind of forget about it and it's still mm-hmm. like terrifying, it still scares you. But the story didn't even do justice for me. So that's kind of why I kind of double dipped in that question. Kind of doesn't sign uh doesn't sound right but yeah so you're saying sinister is the answer to both because it was scary but it was also a letdown in the story department it wasn't a good movie so it was a letdown but also scary but in a cheap way exactly so gotcha. thank goodness somebody understands and i would say from uh, for, for a movie that i was expecting to be terrified of but it was i was let down uh the hills have eyes remake me and my friend snuck into that movie when it was out when it was in the theater um we we felt so BA because it was an R rated movie. We got tickets to see some like some G rated Disney movie. We sunk into that, and we felt so so bad, you know, like oh we sunk into an R rated horror movie. We're gonna be so scared, and we it was stupid. It, we we were not scared at all. And for the second question, unexpectedly, I was terrified of Paranormal Activity, and um, th- that's also like one of the scariest movies I've ever seen. I know everyone disagrees with me, but screw you. Uh, number three, what movie surprisingly impacted you the most? Uh, uh, that I actually didn't write down. All right, you're a heathen. Uh, for me, I th- if you gave an answer last time. Oh, whatever, whatever, uh, no, whatever. you actually just picked it and you said every Tom Cruise movie. Oh, <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, the first the first time we did this was funnier. You'll never get to hear that. Uh, for me, the movie that impacted me the most was The Green Mile. Have you seen that? Yes, I have. I know you did. Because I, I asked you that the last time, uh, I was depre- <laughs> I was depressed for a week from that stupid, horrible, great movie. Oh my gosh, so depressing! All right, next question. Moving right along next from the page. Next page, because we printed all these questions out. Yeah, that's right. We are dedicated people. Cheers to you, people. Mm. I spilled wine on my shirt. Move along. All right, the 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 visual expression asks number one. What ins- what inspired y'all to make YouTube vids, Dennis? Uh, for me, it me. was constantly watching YouTube videos. Um, I'm a big fan of daily vlogs, and I've always wanted to do that. Just never publicly put it up on YouTube for people to see. Uh, I don't find my life that interesting, so haven't got the courage to do it yet. Maybe one day, maybe if people want it, I'll do it. But until then, it just inspires me to do videos. So, Aww. And for me, um, mine's more simple. What movie won? Uh, inspired me to start making videos with this format. Uh, but before that, years before that, I was watching Endurance Productions, uh, B. Jr. from Endurance Productions. And I still watch him to this day. I've never talked about him on this channel, but I love his freaking videos. And I tried to do what he did on another channel, just kind of uh, set up a, a camera and just talk about movies straight to the camera. But I was very boring when I did that. He is not. Um, so that did not work out for me. But the out and abouts work for me. Um, I'm not too boring doing that. So, okay, number two. If Christopher Nolan made one more Batman movie, what two villains would you put in it? In it, in it, in it, in it. Oh, what did I put? I forgot again. Not really, but probably the second. Oh, I, I remember. Uh, I put Deathstroke, amazing lame. character. I like lame. I don't know why no one's jumped on that. I mean, he has had connections with Batman, and Robin before. Um, so, I think that would be an interesting character. He even uh, is an appearance in the new Batman game, which is amazing. I love his character. Just the energy it provides. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second person I think would be awesome is Clayface. Lame. Hey, I tr- I tried taking a different bath. I didn't want to pick characters that have been done 
in Batman films. So those are two that kind of came to mind Mm -hmm. faster. And for me, I would go with the Penguin because I think Christopher Nolan would create a very creepy Penguin. And two, I would choose Mr. Freeze because there is no way in hell Mr. Freeze would ever work because hell is very warm. But also because... Um, Christopher Nolan's universe is so realistic. Mr. Freeze would never fit in, and it, w- it, w- it would be so fun to watch the struggle of of, of, of forcing Mr. Freeze to fit in the universe Nolan uh, created. Number three, who was the better dancer out of you two? And whoever it is, prove it on camera. This is something that we're going to do. Well, <laughs> we decided that I'm the better dancer, of course. He is. I mean, just look at me. No, no, it's not because of that. It's because if you go on our... Uh band page on facebook he's labeled as a belly dancer or on my personal facebook yeah. oh, on your personal oh, okay yeah i thought it was but yeah he's labeled as a belly dancer so mm-hmm. yeah you give yourself that prop so you better live up to that and he's he asks us to prove it and uh we will prove it in another video i promise i don't maybe i shouldn't promise um no he promises i promise if not on wasting money one it will happen on wasting money two or three four or five okay. all righty and the last question uh, if you could change my username, what would you call me? I actually love your username just as boring. is. Boring. I know you think it's boring, but I, I, I love it. I got a good it. one. I got a good I one. I love it. I would call you too cool to be on YouTube because I think uh, you're one of the uh, people that you just, I, I look at you and I hear you and I, and, and I watch your videos. I'm just like, why you are so cool? Why are you amongst us blue tubers? You should be out in a club. Right now, you're too cool. All right, next <clears throat> next question comes from Mitch Provis. Provis, not sure how to pronounce your name. Uh, movies or TV shows? Do you want to take this first, or should I? I think we have the same answer. Yeah, you know, just, just you say the answer. All right, I think TV shows because, well, okay, I should start off this way. I think it's more pros and cons on both of them because movies are enjoyable, but TVs, to me, are more enjoyable because. You actually, with TV shows, you get to learn the characters, learn their background a lot more easier than you are in movies. Movies, you get kind of everything smashed into one where TV shows can go up to like eight seasons or more. I mean, they really have no limits. I mean, they are cut, but Mm -hmm. the only bad thing about TV shows is you have to wait a whole week for a new episode. And even if so, I mean... Movies, movies have endings where TV shows, they can end on a season where it could continue, but they might not get rehired. They might not get re-signed. So you're going to end a TV show on a bad note. True that, true that. And I would actually say I like to watch movies at nighttime and I, I, I would like to watch TV shows during the daytime. Because TV show, you watch a TV show in half an hour, and you don't feel like you're wasting the day away. A movie's like, you know, usually like two hours long. You feel like you wasted the day away when you watch a movie. <coughs> Alrighty then, because I was uh, I was actually sick a couple days ago, 101 temperature. I just watched The Big Bang Theory all day. It was great. It was the best day ever. Anyway, so the next question is from the J R R P 2009, my man. Who do you and Dennis think would win a fight? The new legend, J- Juck Sloan versus uh, the angry grandpa. Do you know these characters at all? I have no idea. He then, so I would say the angry grandpa. The angry grandpa would win because he's older. He has more experience. Duh, right? Of course. Uh, Makes yeah, sense. sure. Makes sense. Okay, Cool Duder versus Wet Movie 1. Dennis. I don't know. I mean, we had to talk about this before, the first time around. We talked about all this before. So, well, shush up. My goodness. Um, I thought Cool Duder, but I, I don't know. I, I'm going to go with Cool Duder. Heathen. All right. How many times are you going to call me that? My Eleven goodness. times. Um, here's the thing. I don't know who weighs more, who has more muscle, who's taller. I don't know any of that stuff. All I know is, you listen to these guys. What movie one has and can have a very manly, aggressive, macho voice? Cool Duder has the voice of an angel, not ag- not aggressive at all. So, based off of their voices, mm-hmm. what movie one wins? E- yeah, but look at that baby face. I mean, geez. For what movie one? No, for Cool, cool Duder. Yeah. yeah. How could you go and like 
hit that. Oh, you're saying like what movie one would be? Yeah, like uh, okay, it's like it's like he'd feel going, too bad. It's like taking a shotgun to a bunny. Yeah, are you gonna shoot that true. bunny? That's very true. Yeah. Well, that's a good point, actually. You, you think about that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I guess we, we'll never know until the fight actually occurs. So, what movie won in Cool Duder? Let's go. Fight to the death. Okay. Alrighty. And the next question is from the Cookie Monster seventy. First question, John. You once said that you didn't like the ending of <laughs> E.T. Despite this, you weren't very specific. Why don't you like the ending of E to E.T.? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I know. Here's the answer. Uh, nice answer. Uh, wow. Double the right. answer. Okay. <laughs> Here's the <laughs> honest truth. I haven't <clears throat> I haven't seen the movie since I was a kid. <clears throat> and all I, all I remember is the first two thirds of the movie are really, really light and really, really fun. You know, this kid finds this alien in his backyard and he brings him in and, and he has to hide him from uh, from his parents. And the, he the alien goes to the, the fridge and makes a mess with all the food. It's fun. It's fun to pretend like you're what's that kid? The kid, Eth- I don't know his name. And and then it just it takes this turn towards the end. Once the guy with the guys with the white suits come in the picture, uh, ET turns into a white raisin, and he starts dying, and the kid is crying, and it just it it, it becomes so depressing. And so as a kid, I would always turn it on. Just, uh, it turn feels it like off. You're, feels like you're watching another movie, actually, when <clears> that happens. I, I that's what it felt like as as a child. So that wasn't. I should have explained that when I said that previously. And also, I should rewatch it. I'm sure I would uh, be okay with the ending. And, then, and of course, the ending ending, when when the spaceship comes down, is fantastic. The uh, ouch, or what is it? Or no, the phone home. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's all good. E.T. phone home. But there was just a point where it just got too depressing as a child. I would just turn it off. Um, but no, is it a great movie? Yes. I, I just got to rewatch it again. So I'm I'm sorry. That was a, a bad review I gave before. Number two. Have you ever seen Sleepaway Camp? If you haven't, the ending alone is worth it. Well, thanks for giving away the ending. We have not seen it. Nope. 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 <clears throat> and I know this because I haven't seen it. So Dennis, of course, hasn't seen it. Yeah, like cause... John watched more movies than me. Well, when it comes to horror movies, you don't watch any. Okay, yeah, horror movies. I, I show okay. you all the horror movies. Th- horror movies. I'm more of a Disney person. <laughs> yeah. Number three. What type of music do you guys like? And we kind of answered this before, but let's... Oh, yeah, what type of music do you like? Uh... I listen to a lot of... Ah, the mic uh, fell on me. Sorry, continue. That was quite entertaining. Um, for me, it's more like pop rock, alternative rock, piano rock, stuff like that. What? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, let's go into this really quick. So you <laughs> like the fray and you like you like, let's be honest, you like gay music. You like the fray. You like the 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 very light switchfoot stuff. You like Coldplay. You like uh, what's the oh what one what's the one direct not one one direction. republic one republic. Okay, when he says gay, just let you know it means happy. That's, uh, that's pop rock. Saying. Yeah, yeah. So, but here's the thing: when I first met you, you know, you had the long hair, you had the black leather jacket, and I just thought this guy's a metalhead for sure. And then I slowly found out that you were in all this like pop rock music. I was like, "What? That is so. I just that's ah. Uh. Yeah, you, your look is so misleading, my friend. Yeah, I'm gonna change your look. Anyway, so for me, I, I I'm into anything, but lately I've really been getting into ska music. I just just today I downloaded the whole disc- discography of the Mighty Boss Tones. How did you download it? I really shouldn't say. Might have been illegal. Anyway, and then also. P.S. Dennis, never shave that beard. I second that, Dennis. Never shave that beard. For me, it's just trim it. It's Mo- Movember, so you know, it's also laziness. But I'm saying it's Movember because it actually is, and you know what? I gotta support it. So mm-hmm. word. That's why I have it going. People are jealous. Word, word, word. Next question is from Webgeek101. One. One. 
What is the reason you guys started to collect Blu-rays? Uh, for me, really, honestly, what movie one inspired me? Den Den. And for me, the reason is I was a just a DVD collector. Not, I mean, Within. more of my stuff was online movies I would get. But Lame. oh my gosh, he's not gonna let me talk. But um, the reason I started Blu-rays is because John decided to come up with this channel and it just grew. That's me. Yeah. It, I did that. I was constantly going, no, I'm not going to convert to Blu-rays. It's not going to hold up. It's never going to go on. I mean, I know it's kind of a little hard to say, but obviously I was really wrong, but Mm-hmm. I, I I saw what mm-hmm. happened to like John's always right. laser discs and all that they kind of didn't last that long. So I was assuming, you know, with VHSs and then DVDs and I'm like, just Blu rays. I'm mean, like, it's a disc. Oh. But then I saw the quality and I was like, oh poop. Oh, never mind. Alrighty then. Poop indeed. Next question from Cinema Sun. Wait, did you answer? Yeah, what what movie won? Oh, I'm sorry. Mine's more simple. I, in the last taking of this, I answered everything first, so that's the reason I messed up. Sorry. How dare you. you Go heathen. ahead. All Continue, right, sir. from Cinema Sons, we have question one. What are you, mo- what are you more excited for? The, ma- the Amazing Spider-Man 2 or The Avengers 2? Dun, dun. Uh. Okay, so both of these... Are both. interesting. Both of these. I'm gonna say that because Avengers two, I will say I'm a little bit looking forward to that more than the Amazing Spider Man two. The reason is because I really didn't care for the Amazing Spider Man <gasps> that much. I like the uh, Spider Man version a lot better. I don't know it. Just the whole side of how toby mcguire was and all not toby mcguire sorry peter parker was i like the toby mcguire version a lot better uh the reason i say i was close is because avengers 2 i don't know how you can top avengers yeah it's kind of like how do you go from multiple aliens roaming new york like crazy Mm -hmm. how do you top that uh, Chuck Norris, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know, but for me, I'm gonna say Avengers two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What what are you saying? You like? I'm gonna Amazing say the Avengers two, two, oh. two, 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 two. I recently <laughs> actually just watched the Amazing Spider Man a couple days ago, and uh, <laughs> don't say you liked it that I didn't, much. I didn't like it that much. Now you know what me and Ryan are talking. About. Yeah, you know, and you kind of stole my answer. Peter, uh, the guy that played Peter Parker, he was good in The Social Network, but as Peter Parker, didn't care for him, didn't like him. He was too attractive. I didn't really feel sorry for him. I didn't really relate to him. Tobey Maguire, though, I did relate to. You know, you could believe he was the geek. Um, anyway, and, and The Avengers was awesome, and I have faith that if it's the same writing crew and if it's, what's his name, Josh Whedon, Joss Whedon, if he's uh, directing again, then I, I have faith in him. Well, here, I just want to say this, though. Before you can't. You, you do know on. Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man are two different things, right? Still Tobey Maguire, but... What are you talking about, Willis? Just move on. Okay. See, that, <laughs> that didn't happen in the first take. Um, I don't think John knows his comics that great, but go on. Oh, go on. No, go on. stop it with go. your go. condescending talk. Number two. Do you watch The Walking Dead, and are you caught up on the show? Den Den, no? No, I am not. I've gone over that before. Heathen. Um, I watched the first few episodes. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'll keep going someday. Number three. Are you going to buy the Breaking Bad Blu-ray set? Uh, If if it's ever cheap enough, but I don't need to get it. And Dennis, I assume no, because you haven't even seen it before. Yep. I'll burn it for you. I didn't say that. Um, When will we get a Blu-ray collection... Uh, from John and Dennis. That's us. I'm John. You're Dennis. Um, oh, yes. Here's the thing. We're going to we're going to we're going to do it a uh, on an annual basis. So we're going to do it. Um, uh, <laughs> this uh, th- for the first collection of video. We're going to do it on our uh, one year anniversary. Anniversary, which is uh, very conveniently on New Year's, because uh, January first was when our first video went up. 
So around that time, we'll do a Blu-ray collection video for you. All righty? All righty. I'm happy you remember, John. Yeah. And the next question is from A Knuckle. My man. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I'm a big fan. The Dorkening. Oh, I love you guys. First question. What was the first concert you went to, and how old were you? Well, uh, the first question, the, the first concert I went to, uh, Amy, Amy Grant, with my family. I was like five years old. I'm unashamed. I love her. Baby, baby. Do, 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 okay, do. and for me, it actually was, I had a lot of thinking to do to this because I really couldn't remember. I put, I don't know, but kind of realized what it was. First concert actually was American English, which is a they saw. knockoff of, uh, I don't know if you call it a knockoff, but... A cover, a Beatles cover band. Yes, Beatles yeah. cover band. So that, that I will say, is my first. Already. Blew my eardrums. Number two. By a speaker. Number two. Uh, let's see here. What was the first movie you ever bought? And the first movie I ever bought was... Uh, uh, first movie I ever, uh, yeah, okay, uh, The Cable Guy on DVD. I got a Borders <coughs> gift card, and I was going through a Jim Carrey obsession. So that's what I got it. What about you, Dennis? My first movie was Tron. I, I like it. It's an amazing movie, so that was mine. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and number three, what movie have you seen the most? Just, oh, man. I got a tie. Uh, one... The Mask of Zorro, uh, in fourth, third or fourth grade, I would come home from school every day, dress up in my Zorro, in my Zorro costume, and like and watch that. I freaking loved that movie. And also, growing up as a kid, I'd watch Mrs. Doubtfire, like every other day. I think I've I've I memorized like every line of that movie. Such a great movie. What about you, Dennis? All right, you know what? I actually had just one I wrote down, but I actually just thought of another one right now that I don't know how I forgot about it. The one I wrote down was Rat Race. Mm -hmm. I just absolutely love that movie. I can watch that constantly. But the movie I grew up with more so was actually Spaceballs. Oh. That movie I watched constantly, even at a young age. My dad had me watch it. (laughs) But... Thank you, Dad. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a great movie. I love it. Alrighty. Next question is from Two B O Seven. Oh man, our main man from Australia, from Oz, from Oz. Um. Alrighty, here we go. First question. Uh, what movie do each of you like purely based on the style or atmosphere? Or you just get lost in it, but it hasn't necessarily got the best story. In other words, you like it just because. Den Den. Batman and Robin. Of course. We all knew that was coming. Yes. Gotham City looks beautiful. It really does. Amazing. I wouldn't wouldn't mind vacationing there either. Uh, For me, I would go with uh, the movie Brazil. It has incredible sets, both in the uh, city scenes and in, in the dream scenes and... And everything. I wouldn't want to live there because it's, it's such a dystopian uh, 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 culture, a world, universe. But um, visually, there's there's some really impressive visuals that I wouldn't mind visiting. Uh, number two, how okay? Do you catalog your movies? Dun dun. Honestly, I have no system, uh, no alphabetical rebel. order, no. Um, yeah, there's no. No order, no number, oh, no man. You're like You're like the Joker. There's no, no when rules. I got it. Yeah, there's nothing. No holds bar. Um, for me, I even go differently. I don't do it librarian style where it's all like standing up. I put it on its side. I That's how libraries down. should do it. So it's stacked. So when you go reading, you're not like tilting on the side like, all right, I want to watch tonight. Oh, this. And then when you go to watch the movie, you're, you're going to have to readjust your neck because mm-hmm. you're looking for a movie that way. But it's a lot easier because you're picking down. You're going, oh, that I'll pick that one. So, okay. Well, for me, I'm able to read sideways, so I don't do it like that. Um, but for for a while, well, actually, da. Uh-huh. Uh, I have mine go alphabetical. But like the past month and a half, I've, uh, uh, well, sorry, sorry, the past two months because this month I haven't bought in any Blu-rays. Um, I've loaded up on so many Blu-rays, and I didn't want to like bring every Blu-ray down a shelf. 
to make room for the A Blu-ray that I got. And so I just have stacks and piles of Blu-rays that I just have not put to the collection yet. They're just kind of around here and there. So in a way, my alphabet my alphabetical uh, system has failed me. Maybe the chaos that Dennis um, enforces is actually the right way. Dennis method trumps. Oh gosh, darn it! All right, maybe I'll maybe I will bow down to to Dennis's uh, red, uh, regimen. All right, number three. What equipment do you, do you watch your movies on? I'm so sorry, I I didn't go downstairs and look at the brands or anything, but yeah, you know, we have a I have a flat screen surround sound, and we did get an outlet converter for that lovely, lovely region free Blu-ray player that you sent us. And again, thank you so much for sending that to us. Holy crap! Um, and we do want, we we do use that from time to time, definitely. Den den. I'm actually trying to think of because I have surround sound, but I'm trying to think of the brand oh, name. Dee, duh. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Okay. It's okay. I think it's like it's some weird brand that I didn't even know. I think it's like a it was a motorcycle brand. It's something that does <clears throat> a bunch of stuff like motorcycle TVs and, but. Yeah, I, I have surround sound. I have to use that because have to have that theater effect where you just shake the whole house. And then I have a, a flat screen, 32-inch Samsung. So I got that actually during Cyber Monday Ooh. at a pretty good deal, like $200. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's that. And actually, soon I'm going to be getting a uh, hand-me-down for my brother, his PS3. So. Ooh. That's going to be nice. I'm going to get that for like $100 mm-hmm. with controllers and games. So Ah, to be the middle yes. class. All righty. <clears throat> Thank you for your questions, 2B07. And again, we, we appreciate everything you've, you've done and, 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 and thrown our way from Oz. Um, all righty. So next question is from Touch It Dude. I don't know what it is. <laughs> But uh, we won't analyze that. Uh, what's your top ten superhero movies? And that is such a great question that we're not going to answer it here. We're got, we're eventually going to make a list, uh, a video or a video on its own, all ab- all about that. Yeah, we don't know when, where, could be on wasting money one, could be on wasting money two, could be on you wasting money eleven. You just got to look for it. So mm-hmm. keep an eye out either channel. Or future channel. You never know. And if you guys are going to make bets, uh, a safe bet would be Batman and Robin uh, will be in the top three of Dennis's top ten. Yeah? I, I, I'm i going to make that bet. Anyone wants to bet with me? Um, oh, oh, yeah. Righty. <laughs> Next questions are from Keep On Earning 23. Yeah. Number one, what do you like the most about making YouTube videos? You go first, my friend. Honestly, I love the YouTube family. We're all nice in every different kind of way. The biggest thing that I like is hearing all the deals because if I'm watching a YouTube channel and he goes or she says there's a... There's no she's. There's like like one for every ten male blue tubers out there, but continue. Well, regardless... That one girl, I'm including you in on this. So, regardless of the person, they uh, let us know about deals. And honestly, it kind of inspires me. Like, if I hear that this is $5, it kind of gets me to go out and go get it. I mean, I know it sounds silly, but yeah, I I love YouTube videos where it kind of helps me with deals. Because there was a coupon, actually, for Man of Steel that I didn't know even existed and i decided to just look around a little bit and got lost in youtube like always and i found out there's a coupon i'm like wait what so yeah i mean that's why i love it we help each other out in different kind of ways and motivate each other so Mm -hmm. yeah true that all right and what i like most about making youtube videos is of course interacting with you beautiful wonderful people but also just seeing all the geeks out there and it, it makes me not feel so bad about being a geek myself. You know what I mean? So I like that part of it. Uh, second question is, what are your guys' career life aspirations? Should I answer first? Sorry, my mic wasn't on. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay, so... What's your uh, aspirations? You know, 
we talked about this before, and I wasn't 100% sure on it, but uh, having a steady career, something that's laid back and hourly where I can still enjoy life would be nice. I mean, I like uh, I, living day by day is basically what I go by. Like, I, I could be free tomorrow or I could be very busy, but for me, having a nice job where I can continue doing YouTube videos and focus on movies, that would be really enjoyable. Hey, that's my answer. That was my freaking answer from the first time we did this. what I said too before. Yeah, but I explained it betterly and you just well, took the you, words. You wrote down what I said and you just read it. That's exactly what I said. I want a job where I can get out at like 5 o'clock, come home and work on music, you know, geek out. Uh, whether it be with the channel or, or whatever. Well, see, yours is better. You said geeking out and all that. Mine... <laughs> I'm all like, uh, doing this, uh, you know, mov- movies. I, I sound very stuttery. Yours was more... Articulate. Well yeah, mine was just... <laughs> that's why I... I mean, I've... come on. That's, that's, that's everybody's why... dream is to have a steady job oh, that so pays just, good. Just and... discredit my dream... Anyway, this is why I have the bigger <laughs> microphone. All righty. Yeah, okay. So, number three, what's the best thing about growing up and living in Chi Town, which is Chicago, for all you people that don't know? <laughs> oh. Am I going? Go. Okay. So, if you have seen Chicago, day or night, it looks amazing. I love the visuals all around. Just to think, these Yay. buildings were made by man, basically. I mean, they're tall skyscrapers. I mean, you can really hurt your neck looking up there. Actually, God's made them, Dennis. I mean, well, uh, ironically, uh, it, sure. you should watch the Star Wars casting call video on Wasting Money 1. I know you're not in it, but if you got over your narcissism, your, your narcissism, <sighs> if I didn't drink so much wine, I would be able to pronounce that correctly. If you got over that and watched it, um, you learned that I share the same opinion. And maybe you did watch it, and no, you just stole did. my uh, answer again. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. You know my, we're, like, the same on. person. I have the, a funny answer. Oh, yeah. uh, my, my, The best thing about growing up and living in Chi-Town is avoiding it by living in the suburbs. <laughs> you think you're funny. I am funny. Um. It's very dangerous. Um, and when I was younger, I loved to go to Planet Hollywood, but that has since been uh, uh, demolished. And my dad used to run the marathon every year, and that was really fun to go to. Next question is by Media Monster ninety five. On a scale of one to oh god, the torment. How hard was retirement? This question is for me, Dennis. Oh, it's all about John. It is today. Um, let me just stop Dennis's camera to save memory for my camera. And here we go with the answer. All right. For me, it was actually like, it was, it's kind of one of those out of sight, out of mind things where if I had a day to myself, just myself, I wouldn't really think about Blu-rays too much. I wouldn't really have the urge to go out and buy any, but unfortunately I have friends like Dennis and Ryan who are, you know, our fellow Blu-ray obsessors. And I, and if I go on Facebook, you know, I'm, I'm friends with a lot of blue tubers who, uh, uh, let me in on, uh, uh, the latest deals and whatnot. So they, they come to me. And so that was hard, but the hardest part was of course, going to Walmart and seeing the, the 488 shelves with Batman and Robin for 488. That was the, Oh God, the torment. That was, or that was, Oh God, hold on one second. Uh. That was, oh, God, the torment. Definitely. Help me. I'm on the ground. And he just farted. <laughs> Don't move, Dennis. Don't leave your station. Be a man. This is for the viewers. Don't move. You're not even... You, you've gotten used to it. I'm gonna, Already. I'm going to do this interview like this now. <laughs> interview? Or, yeah. yeah. All right. Next question. Next question. Uh, from the movie fan 356. Uh, uh, do you think the urge of buying... Oh, I'm sorry. This kind of goes with Media Monster 95's question, which is about uh, 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 if the urge is more... If my urge to buy Blu-rays is more powerful when going into retirement. You smell that? Yeah, that's me. Anyway, uh, and yeah, so that's the answer. Uh, next question. Dennis, calm down. 
Oh my be quiet. gosh. Come on, be professional. McDonald's uh, food. Next stuff. question is from uh, Brandon Mitchell 526. Brandon Mitchell. Any relation to Brandon Mitchell? What movie won? <laughs> I said that joke last time. It was funnier the first time. Yeah. Question Oh, question for Dennis. If you were to get one of your Denzel Blu-rays signed by Denzel himself, which would it be? Answer the same for Tom Cruise. Brando. That is a tough question. Um, you answered it before, so go quick. Yes, I did. Uh, the Denzel, I picked Deja Vu. Lame. My gosh, you're very negative. I don't... You know what? I just want to apologize right now. Take a moment and apologize for John because I don't know what happened to him. He's very negative. This is what happened to me. No, I'm just kidding. This would actually mellow me out. I don't know why I'm so hyper. He's, he's negative. I'm sorry. Negative. It's crazy because we've answered all these before. All right, negative, go, Nancy. Quick, 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 quick. All right, and then Tom Cruise. I picked the uh, Top Gear. Not Top Gear. Top <laughs> Gun. My gosh. This is the second time doing this, okay? I'm going a little crazy now. I have to be up at 6 a.m. or 5. It's only 11.53 p.m. Uh, Top Gun has the uh, li- li- uh, li- la, whatever lenticular. It's lenticular. And it's either that or Mission Impossible. Oh, the first one? Yes. Lame. All right. <clears throat> Next question by Squirrel Movie Stash. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you could li- Oh, we already answered this. If you could live in any film universe, which one would it be? If you wouldn't be the hero, you would just be you living in that world. And we already answered that, but um, besides Brazil, I got a better answer, actually. Um, because Brazil has that, that dystopian... Thing going on, you know, it's, it's it's kind of a it's a bad culture, but um, I would love to live in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, that world, where you know I could live in the real world and then take frequent visits to Toontown. Wouldn't that be awesome? So it's like Space Jam. You're like Michael Jordan. No, because Space Jam, that was like Warner Brothers world, and it was underneath a golf course, and there was no Disney characters. It was just Warner Brothers Looney Tunes. Toontown is every tune in the world. Dennis, listen to me when I talk. No, Toontown. I'm just saying you're like. There's Michael a reason Jordan. I said Roger Rabbit, not you're Space Jam. Get out of my house. All right, next question. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys later. That is it. <laughs> Bye. Next question is from Zaka Jostrand. No one in the world could pronounce that last name except Zaka himself. Uh, who is your favorite actor? My answer is Peter Sellers, and Dennis's is Tom Cruise. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, okay. So, all right, we have uh, one, two, three, four more questions left, and we're going to go through them really quick. And they're all no's. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first, uh, Adam Hames asks, have you seen Runaway Train starring John Voight and Eric Roberts, my number one favorite movie of all time? Nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Adam the Film <laughs> Fanatic asks, have you seen Big Big Trouble in Little China? If so, what do you think of it? I think it's my favorite movie. Nope. 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 <laughs> I, I saw the first third of it, and, <laughs> it, and it was really good. I love John Carpenter. He can potentially be very great. He does make some bad movies here and there, though. Um, Fresh3456 asks, Have you ever seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Uh, RDM's Battlestar Galacta, Galactica? Oh my gosh. Lost or Babylon 5? I have seen all those. So I'm not going to go into detail. But yes. So have I. No, you have yeah, not. Yeah, no, I have not. John doesn't watch TV shows I, that much. I saw one episode of Buffy in, uh, in, at, in college for, I forgot what class. It was wow. weird. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I like that. Uh, so that, that wasn't even like a, like, what do you think of them? It was just like, a, have you seen them? No, I know, but if I see a question like that and it's interesting enough, I'll go into detail about it. Because you're narcissistic. Um, Just kidding. Well, I can go on for like hours about TV shows. I've even thought about doing videos and haven't yet, but maybe if it comes up, I'll do it. Good. Yeah, I would love that. I would love to see that, Danny. You'd like to see TV? I would love to see videos. I would would love to see you talk about anything. I would even love to see you in the bathroom. Filming yourself. Honestly, we're gonna do more of these videos. We will. Yeah, I promise. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I All don't. right. We last last question for this video is uh, from Bobby Ship, and you may be asking yourself, "Hey, you skipped some questions. You skipped my question. If we did skip because we were going in order, um, 
we're saving a lot of, of questions uh, for Anderson because there are a lot of questions that he could answer. So when we when we meet with up when we meet up with him, we will ask um, him some questions already. So here's the last question. My question for your Q and A from Bobby Ship. <clears throat> Do Best Buy employees harass you guys as much as they harass me and my Blu-ray passe? The numbers of different employees asking us are usually around five to six, thus making us not want to go in more often. Holy crap, Rooney. The first off, the words you used, uh, harass and posse. I I picture a very violent scene going down. I picture the Best Buy employees with uh, batons and, 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 and guns. I'm picturing like West Side Story. I'm picturing a clockwork orange. <laughs> West Side Story going on where they're just snapping towards the center of the Best Buy store. Yeah. <laughs> good good visuals, Mr. Bobby Ship. Um, honestly, no. Uh, the first, or the second or third time we were in Target, I was asked to not, not film. Um, but only at one specific target. You were asked. The guy ran up to you and basically like yelled at you. He nearly tackled me. He nearly harassed me, I guess. And what does John do? He stops filming. Yeah, I'm not a rebel. You couldn't just put it to the side and continue and it was like my second or third video. I even know foo. to keep recording. All right, all right, all right. Jeez. All right, I'll be more a rebel in the future, but also uh as far as harassment goes or people coming up to us, the only only thing I could think of is uh in the Blu-ray riddle video we were asked a couple of times or a few times by a few different people what we were doing and one girl employee even asked us why are you filming and then of course you have to go into the whole like well we have a youtube channel where uh we uh talk about movies we buy we barely even review them we just kind of film ourselves buying these blu-rays and then she gives <laughs> us really like what is wrong with you look and then we yeah. have to say well we actually have we have like a thousand subscribers then she goes what Really? <laughs> you're joking, right? Yeah, you're yeah. joking, right? You're not serious. You're just... Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, my gosh. There we go. Oops, wow. What was that? Um, yeah. So, but I think it's fun. Like, when, when people are filming uh, inside a store and people come up to them and say, hey, what are you doing? I've actually never seen that, actually. But uh, that would just, I would just, that that's kind of entertaining, right? It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, and so I kind of always hope people come up to us and, and say, what are you doing? Because it's, oh, that happened once um, in that, what's it called? The why do we do this video? The, the two guys, they're in the thumbnail, come up to us. Can be in your video? <laughs> yeah. That was that was fun. I, I, yeah, I think if I was a viewer, I would like to see that. Mm-hmm. Um, but ironically, when that happens to us in real life, I just want to stop recording. That's like, in, like yeah, because I'm so shy in real life. But um, anyway, so there you go. Um, the bottle of wine is done, but I, I had a half bottle to begin with, so I'm not really tipsy whipsy. This is our second time doing this. I think this is pretty good. Uh, your camera's about to die. The camera that's on you is about to die. So say goodbye. 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 This is part one. We will get to all your questions, um, eventually in a different video, probably on Wasting Money 2. Thank you for watching. Cheers to you guys. Thank you for your questions. And also leave more questions below if you desire. And Cheers. Cheers. We will see you then. Ta ta. Ding. I would have laughed if that broke. I wouldn't have. This is a very nice glass. Alright, I'm gonna get John off before he decides to hurt himself. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.